Hello, everyone, and welcome back to your favorite political satire show, With the Facts. I'm your host, Jack Kessler. And I'm Everett Lyons. Let's get into it. Mixed signals from the White House this week as Secretary of State Anthony Blinken was forced to roll back an offhand remark by President Biden at the end of speech to NATO officials and allies. For God's sake, this man cannot remain in power, Biden said, referring to Russian President Vladimir Putin and effectively calling for regime change. Hours later, Blinken had to publicly deny that regime change was what the president was calling for, stating that the president was only making the point that, quote, President Putin cannot be empowered to wage war or engage in aggression against Ukraine or anyone else. Unquote. If we run that through WTF's handy State Department bullshit translator, we find that what Blinken actually said was, quote, the old guy's off his meds, folks. Your guess about what goes on in that wrinkled head is as good as mine. Bad news from Shanghai is the most populated city in the world is under total COVID lockdown once again. Shanghai's 24 million residents have been ordered indoors after a new wave of COVID infections swept the city, marking the second time it's been put under lockdown since the pandemic began in 2019. Remember 2019, back when we were just hearing about this crazy bat flu virus coming out of some place no one had ever heard, like Shezwan or Wuhan? And then people said banning imports from China was racist, then we all got kicked off of campus, then there were mask mandates, then everyone made a Walmart run for toilet paper at the same time, then Trump was on TV arguing with reporters about COVID cures and vaccines and drinking bleach and horse tranquilizer, then double masks, people started putting this guy called Fauci's face on body pillows and shirts, and then that same Fauci goes live on Instagram live streams with influencers I've never heard of for some reason. We saw fights in the streets, lockdown protests, trucker rallies, Biden got elected, because he said he knew how to beat COVID. Turns out, of course, he didn't. Then some people decided to get their brand of vaccine tattooed on their arms. For some reason, people started to work from home and decided they liked it. Everything got expensive again. And then finally, in a climax to more than two years of a pandemic, we all just stopped caring. It turns out that the Ukraine invasion is a lot more interesting than listening to press conferences about COVID, just repeating the same thing ad infinitum. And then to top it all off, we pulled the mask mandates here on campus. No one talks about it anymore. Completely forgotten. Well, except by those people on campus who still wear masks and glare at you like you just shot their dog when you don't. Well, that's this week's episode of With the Facts. I'm Jack Kessler. And I'm Everett Lyons. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time.